Welcome to Ask TACMAN, where we answer your questions about real-time PCR. Here's an important question from Janaina at UFRGS in Brazil. She asks, how do I analyze my real-time PCR data? Well, in fact, there are several options for analyzing data and generating final reports, depending upon the particular application one's running. Let's address the most common qPCR experiment type, namely gene expression. The first option is to have the instrument software perform calculations for you. In all our most recent software versions, you have the option to set up new gene expression experiments by either designating comparative CT or relative standard curve as your quantification method. You'll need to create at least two assay names, one normalizer and one target, and at least two sample names. You'll then assign these sample and assay names to the appropriate wells, making certain to identically label any wells representing pipetting replicates. If you're running the relative standard curve method, be sure to also label wells containing your dilution curve as standards and to add standard amounts. Oh, and there's a handy shortcut key that really helps set these up. Finally, tell the software which target on the plate is your normalizer gene and which sample you want to choose as the reference sample. Most people choose the untreated sample, by the way. At the end of the run, Simply go to either the Results or the Analysis tab, depending upon your version, and to Gene Expression. If you labeled everything correctly, final full change data will be generated for you and presented both in graphical and in tabular form. In the case of the latter, there's a column labeled RQ, or Relative Quantification, which is exactly the same as Full Change. The instrument software has so many features for looking at your gene expression data that we just won't have time to go into too much detail in this video. So, I suggest having a look at the copy of the Relative Quantification Getting Started Guide. It's available as a hard copy as well as electronically online. And, if you click on your software's help menu, you'll even find a version right at your fingertips. But what about other options? Well, in fact, Life Technologies offers two other exceptional tools for calculating gene expression data. Both are freestanding packages that can be downloaded and used at no charge from the Life Technologies website. Both Data Assist and Expression Suite offer intuitive workspaces and plenty of data crunching capabilities. Both can do multi-plate studies, calculate biological replicate full change data, and present results in a variety of forms, including heat maps, volcano and scatter plots, and more. If you'd like to learn more about either of these packages, there are free video tutorials available on the web. Just go to learn.lifetechnologies.com, click on Gene Expression, and twirl down to the section on web-based training. Do you have a real-time PCR question? Just ask TACMAN. Ask us on Twitter using the hashtag AskTACMAN. Hit us up on Facebook or go visit lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTACMAN.